Hi guys, in this video we will talk about how we can fix external monitor that is not working in Windows 11. The reason why it's not detecting is probably because of the physical connection, maybe the display settings, or outdated graphics card that may be preventing Windows from detecting a second monitor automatically. So let's start with the very basic, which is by checking the cables and physical connection. Make sure that the cables are working okay, and you can also try to check the different ports, if that is working. So, after checking the cables are okay, next is to check the display settings. To access the display settings, just right-click on Start, then go to Settings, then click on System, or you can also try to right-click, then you can just select Display Settings. It's just the same thing. Then usually on the display settings, you will see that the, um, the external monitor is already been detected. And sometimes users tend to forget um, to uh, set the options. So make sure to select the extend this uh, display because you do have an option to show only one, two, and duplicate this display. So always make sure that you select the extend this display then there are some cases that even though the external monitor is already been uh, connected sometimes you will get an error like if you will scroll down from here from the detect and if you will um, click on detect you will get this error we didn't find another display it means that you need to check and update the, the graphics driver on your computer from here also, uh, you, can, you will have an option to click on connect if you do have a wireless monitor. So to fix this, to fix this error, let's close it. Then we need to open the, the um, device manager. So right click from here. Then after that, just um, select on device manager, this one. Or on your keyboard, just press and hold the Windows key together with the letter R. Then just type this, devmgmt.msc. So this will be the shortcut for device manager. So just enter it. Let's maximize it. Then from here, in here, just click on display adapter. Then this will be the, um, the graphics driver. So this will be Intel Iris. And to fix this, just right click. Then just click on update. Then after that, just click on search automatically for drivers. Then as you can see that this has already been installed and it is updated. So if you see this um, this kind of um, like information, just close it. Uh, right click again, then update drivers, then browse my computer for drivers. Then make sure to click on include subfolders and let me pick, just click this. Then after that you will ha have uh, a lot of options from here. You will have Intel, Microsoft, that really depends on what will be the graphics driver of your computer, which is compatible with. So you can try all of those um, drivers that is listed on this list. Then once you've already selected it, just click on Next, and it will automatically install the driver. Once you've already installed the driver, just click on Action, then click on Scan for Hardware Changes, then you need to restart your computer to take effect. Sometimes uh, you don't need to restart the computer. It will take effect immediately. So just don't forget to scan for hardware changes after installing the driver or reinstalling the driver. And you can also see the, the latest update. When did you update it? Right click. Then just go to properties. Then from here driver details. I mean this one. Then you can see that uh, the last um, update is um, March of 16 so you will see it from here so let's close it just in case this didn't work and this didn't help uh, you can simply um, install the, the driver manually so just go to Google go to Google and then after that just look for download Intel R Iris XE graphics so once you've already entered it this one then again you just need it to look for the driver this one 
then Google it, then go to Intel website, just click this, and you can download it, the driver, and try to install it manually. Then after that, after downloading, install it, then make sure to restart your computer after installing it to take effect. So that's it. That's how you can uh, fix the, the external monitor if it's not working. So hopefully you find this video helpful and if you do have comments or questions regarding this video, don't forget to comment down below. And uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.